Hey everybody, it's Lisa, look at Lisa, from Cash Advance, and today I'm going to do the Hero Crate reveal, the big unboxing of our quarterly Hero Crate box. But uh, first of all, how y'all doing? Um, if you are watching me on replay or watching me live, um, please put in the comments um, your geocaching name and uh, where you're watching me from. And uh, I'd love to know, you know, location-based game. I always love to know where folks are from, and where they're watching. So I hope everyone's doing all right. We've been having some interesting weather all around the country and such. And um, it's a lovely, gorgeous day here today. It's like, I think it reached 70 degrees, which is pretty rare for this early in the year. But uh, I'm not minding it at all. I'm, although I think it might be a hot summer. <laughs> So again, I'm Lisa, look at Lisa, and uh, we have lots of different subscriptions at Cash Advance, different variations of the Cash Crate. And what I'm going to do for you today is do the reveal of our Spring Hero Crate. Now our Hero Crate is a bigger, bigger, better, more expensive box, but only goes out four times a year, every solstice and every equinox. So it's seasonally based, and uh, this was our spring 2024 box that I'm going to open up for you today. And sometimes they come in different size boxes because we have different size things that go inside of them. And actually, how I started the Hero Crate was because in um, searching for items for the Cash Crate, which is our monthly subscription box, you know, the box is this big. Um, which is a great size box if it's in your mailbox and we can fit a lot of really cool geocaching things in it. But sometimes I find bigger items that just aren't going to fit in this box. So I set those items aside, make a note and start curating for our hero crate. And uh, then um, we we're able to round those up, curate them into a fun box every season. And uh, like I said, they're every solstice and equinox. So this last one went out around the spring um, equinox, all ready for springtime and spring season. And you know, what are geocachers doing in springtime? They're doing Cito. <laughs> So this is one of the items, spoiler, we'll get to it right on the top here, but I'm wearing um, our long sleeved um, Cito, uh, be kind to our earth and Cito shirt that is in the box. So let me go ahead and I guess we'll just dive right in, right? So again, Hero Box, Hero Crate, they do come in different size boxes. Um, this time, I think everybody got one this size. One actually went out a little bit bigger because <laughs> there was a variety of items in it. So right in top, I need two hands here to open this up. The way this box works right in here. So I'm going to flip that open. And right on top is that shirt. And it slipped right out. The insert that went inside every one of these as well. So this was a fun insert. It's actually a story. I wrote you guys a story about everything that went into the Hero Crate. And it's the adventures of Captain Cash, a hero's journey. So in the heart of geocaching city where the sun always shines like today and the trails back and a hero emerged, Captain Cash. Armed with passion for adventure and a heart of gold, Captain Cash set out to make this world a better place, one geocache at a time. So that's kind of our theme is gold, gold, and uh, of course, geocaching and being a hero. That's what the Hero Crate is for, those geocaching heroes that you know always have the coolest gadget caches, the most favorite worthy caches, the best gear. They're able to give the best hints and advice and mentoring to new geocachers. That, that's what a geocaching hero is. And that's what we seek to equip, who we seek to equip in our hero crates. So the very first item is the long sleeve version of our t-shirt. Um, all of our t-shirt club members received this shirt, but in short sleeve. Um, our heroes they got a long sleeve, which is, I love this. It's super lightweight. So it's not like a heavy, oh, heavy hot shirt. It's a nice, lightweight, cool cotton. It's a heather yellow gold color. So it's kind of um, honey colored, like with the, the bees, right? And it is our shirt number 34. We always work the shirt design, the, um, the number of the shirt into the design. <laughs> and I see we've got Lori here with us. Oops. Pardon me while I wiggle my computer a little bit. 
She says that you love the shirt and you're from Western Washington. Hey, Lori, good to see you. Awesome. I'm glad that you like the shirt. So I believe you would have received the short sleeved one, which is the exact same material, exact same color, which is really cool. Um, but uh, our heroes got the long sleeve one, which is actually pretty nice if you're going to be out sea towing. It'll help protect your arms potentially from, um, you know, those briars and brambles and a lot of CETO projects and especially even ones that I've done are pulling noxious weeds and that sort of thing. So it's good to have a little bit of protection, right? <laughs> oh, JD says um, 43, actually. Did I say the wrong number? Yes, this is um, number 43 t-shirt. And hey, Dustin, it's good to see you. Hi, Dustin. And Lori says, yes, she did wear it over the weekend. Awesome. Perfect. You're always busy with events over there, Lori. You host so many of them. So that's awesome. Happy to help you um, be equipped and up your wardrobe game. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, guys. And again, if you are watching live or even on replay, go ahead and type in replay and, um, you know, comment along. I'm, I'm, I love um being able to chat with you guys since we don't get to see each other in person that often all around the country and around the world. So, you know, go ahead and, and type your questions um, and any comments that you might have about our hero crates. And uh, let me pop that back out there. And also I've got my new coin holder put up behind me. Um, I've just started putting some of my coins on it. Got it finished. This was quite a project and it's, it's, it's big. It goes all the way up. <laughs> but trust me, I got coins to fill it. So you're going to see it in uh, different iterations here um, soon. Sorry about that. I'm making everybody a little seasick. <laughs> so, all right. So this was item number one was the be kind to our earth and CETO. And uh, the little bee on here is, um, there it is, right up here. It looks a lot like our little bee cashkins. <laughs> And if you get the hero crate, you would have received this as well. Um, I don't believe the, our, um, or the regular cash crate would have received it. Um, but yes, this is taken right from there, our little bee cashkin. A lot of fun. So that was the shirt that was in there. And let's see here. There's a honey stinger snack pack, which is right on top. These, I love honey singer. Can I, again, come kind of with that bee theme, the yellow gold treasure theme. These are delicious. So you got these guys. And it's a whole snack pack. You know, this is the Hero Crate. So you're going to get the bigger, better option <laughs> of these. So we included the Energy Chews. These are really good. They're like kind of like gummies um, and cherry blossom flavor. It's a yummy flavor. Again, with the, the gold theme there. And I believe they have caffeine on them. Yep, they're all organic, bite-sized, soft chews for quick, sustained energy on the go. Awesome, good stuff. And then we got two different versions of the Honey Stinger Energy Waffles. Um, all of our heroes received the uh, chocolate version and also the um, cookies and cream version. So we got a whole snack pack. Um, these little individual waffles, these guys here, they're like, you know, like an energy bar, but they're a waffle. And then the chews and then the um, large mini energy waffles. Now I've got one open. I want to show you what they look like on the inside. So I opened up, opened up mine <laughs> already. And um, they just rip open and then they've got a resealable bag. And they're meant to be... Um, you know, eating one at a time. So there are a whole bunch. There's, there's a whole bunch in there. This one got a little bit shook up. Sorry about that, guys. It's been rattling around in my car. <laughs> but they've got these wonderful little waffle chews. They've got honey on the inside and they're delicious. And I, I'm not going to, I'm going to spare you. I'm not going to eat it in front of you because they're really chewy and they're gooey on the inside. Um, but they're delicious. So that, that's what I love about these, these bigger packs is that you can just pull out one to about, I think 30, 35 calories each and have as many as you want or as few as you want. And then when you're done, just, uh, seal it back up. Voila. And then, um, they will, oops, oops, steal it, seal it the right way. There we go. And then, um, put it back and save them for later. So these are wonderful. So we got a good snack pack there with the honey stinger. 
And there's a little bit of story um, on the insert about every item here. So I'm not going to read through all of them. Um, if you guys want me to, I will. Just let me know. Uh, but then the next item on the list is the Bison Light. So with Nightfall approaching, um, Captain Cash activated his trusty Bison Light. It's actually made by Bison. You guys have heard of Bisons, right? Yeah, well, they make more than just cash containers, for sure. <laughs> it's a USB LED rechargeable light. Here it is. These are awesome little lights. And... Um, like, weird, they're yellow too. <laughs> Sensing more of my theme. So I've got one unpackaged here. And um, what's kind of cool is that this is stretchable and they're really designed to go on your handlebars on your bike. So you wrap them around your handlebar and then this just flips up on top. So I'm not going to do that right now because then I wouldn't be able to use my hand. <laughs> but it'll stay on there tight and they really are. USB. So you just charge it by, you know, plugging it into your computer, um, any USB charger, most outlets, a lot of outlets, newer ones now actually have USB chargers. So you don't have to fumble for batteries um, and, um, you know, have all that waste. You just plug it in and go. Now this one, um, I've only been charging it for 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so. And uh, it turns right on nice and bright. The nice thing about these is they've got different You've got a white, you've got a white flash as well, um, which is great if you are on your bike out at night, um, especially on the back side. You have multiples of these. And then they also have the red version. You've got red light and red flashing as well. So depending on what your needs are, and then turn it off. So you've got multiple different ways to use these. Um, and again, they're made by Bison, which is really cool. Um, Bison Designs is right there, rechargeable LED lights. And uh, yeah, you can see there how they would attach to your handlebars. And it's super grippy. Um, and it, it's like a, a grippy um, rubber stuff. So these are going to stick right where you put them and stay there. And then you just pop them off, charge them in, plug them in, and you're, you're good to go. And um, yeah. And they, oh, and they include two rechargeable lithium ion batteries inside. So there you go. Those are awesome. Excuse me, just a sec. Can I get a sip of water? Spring allergies, they're wonderful. <laughs> so um, the next item is a Cito vest, a trackable tag, and a geo coin. So we've got some of these really cool Cito vests from HQ. Um, they're in their own little packets, and they fold up inside. They've got um, reflectives on them. Go ahead and pull this one all out so you can see it's a, it's this is like you know electric um neon yellow where this you can see the shirt is not neon yellow this is a honey gold color <laughs> much more subtle um but still it's a nice bright color and uh these are awesome so you got cash in trash out um right on the back side there and all the reflectiveness and they're basically one size fits all. So um, might be really big on a little kid, but you know, still not a bad idea to keep those kids high vis, right? When they're out there um, doing the cleanup. And uh, it's just Velcro on the front. <clears throat> so they're adjustable depending on and what size you need or just wrap it around or whatever works for you. So you've got the um, wonderful Cito vests. These are also great um, to use for prizes. If you um, are hosting a CETO, it's always fun to do some, some fun random prizes that maybe whoever comes up with the weirdest piece of garbage or something like that, you can award them one of these. Or, you know, at the beginning, uh, make sure everybody is um, well. Um, you can see everybody well, right? <laughs> and as so we've got somebody else joining us, I'm going to say hi to Jono here. Um, from Australia. Oh, you set the Capital Geo Bash last night. It was great fun. Awesome. Well, that's amazing. That's brilliant. That looked like a lot of fun. I saw um, a couple of my geocaching friends were posting some pictures um, from visiting or being there as well. So definitely a bucket list. Um, glad that you had a good time. Well, and thanks for joining us. <laughs> Oh, and Dustin says you're hosting a CETO this weekend. Perfect. Yeah, it's CETO season, guys. It's CETO season one. Um, and speaking of that, 
So we've got the Cito, and then um, we have the Cash In Trash Out Coins um, from our partners at Groundspeak, and then also the Tag Cash In Trash Out. These are the season one um, ones, and you see they, they match. They look good together. Um, so all of our heroes got this, this lovely packet for the, the Cito items. Now, all of the coins we put into a bag that was um, stapled shut just to keep them all together. So these, this coin, the Cito coin, the Cito tag um, were in um, the bag. They were different colors. If you're a Hero Crate member, you would have had um, different color bags as well. And let's see what's next. Um, so yeah, I cooked with the Cito. Um, Vest Captain Cash set out to clean up the trails and protect the environment. Um, he loved with the Cito trackable tag and geocoin in tow. He spread awareness of the importance of conservation and left a trail of positivity in his wake. Love that. <laughs> and then all of our heroes received an Equinox coin. Love these. Again, they were from our partners. This is the spring Equinox coin. Sorry, it's a little shiny. Um, let's see if I can show this backside without... That must be the code there. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous coins. So again, this goes out every equinox or solstice. So it was really fun to be able to include the equinox coin. And these guys are huge. This is a big coin. It's nice and heavy as well. And then we've got the Leap Day trackable pack. Track pack. So all of our heroes received our different coins. Um that we have. So this is our Mariners um, City Connect colors of the Leap Day coin, which obviously had just happened. And um, this is our Kraken colors, um, Seattle Kraken um, colors for this, this big coin. And then we also made um, Signal. So this is the same image that is on Oh, let me use the right way. I'm trying to avoid all the glare. I've got sun coming in, um, afternoon sun in my windows. Yay. <laughs> so this was all these coins. That's a lot of coins. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six with the Equinox. Six trackables. But wait, there's more. Hold on. Hold, please. There's more coming. <laughs> let me drop this one in here. <laughs> Dusty, Dustin um, says, a good hockey team. Yeah, they're not as great this year as they were last year, but, but we love them nonetheless. And they won last night, so that was a fun game to watch. <laughs> all right, so we've got all of those. And we've got the Be Kind to Our Earth shirt, which I already talked about, num shirt number 43. And it's the long-sleeved edition. So um, Captain Cash wore his heart on his sleeve, or on his chest. <laughs> And spread a message of kindness and environmental stewardship wherever he went, right? Be kind to our earth. And Sito, I mean, just be kind to our earth. That's a fantastic message right there for sure. <laughs> oh, and Darlene mentioned about the Leap Day. Should you just put the last two of your Leap Day trackables out yesterday and today? Well, awesome. Thank you for getting them out there. I hope that they travel well. The tags generally tr do travel very well, and, and it's always fun to, to get those trackables moving and to find them for sure. Awesome. Good to know that, Darlene. All right, then, oh, Green Goo First Aid Salve. Um, all of our heroes received this. This uh, also went out recently in, in the cash crate, too. I love this stuff. Um, this works so well. It's like a chapstick. Um almost like a chapstick, but softer and not, you know, waxy as waxy. Um, it's a salve. I'm not going to open this one up because it is all nice and sealed up, but the stuff works great. You know, from personal experience, um, I used it on a big scrape that I got on my knee while I was river walking um, in Jamaica. And then um, recently I found out that I'm very sensitive to some of the adhesives that they use um, for taping like injuries. I have a, a shoulder injury and um, yeah, it didn't like me. My skin didn't like it, but this healed me right up. 
um, once, um, yeah, cause you can use it right on cuts and scrapes and burns. And it was, it was like second degree burns basically. And, um, now you can't even tell it's only been a few weeks. You can't even see it. So, um, I heal it really, I love this stuff. So here has got this and Sito season it's spring. We're out there geocachers. You know, I've heard the saying, if there's not a little bit of blood, you're not a real geocacher. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's easy to get hurt while we're out geocaching. And this is a, a great little salve to, to have with you. Good for sunburns as well, too. Definitely used it on some of my sunburns um, while we were down south earlier this year. All right. And then um, all the heroes received a geocache container of some sort that was ready to go. Um, there were different ones. Um, about half of them received one of these. These are great official geocache. Um, big, big bag, um, water bottles, nice, nice big ones, chunky ones. Um, there were other cash containers. They were all regular sized, um, similar in size to this one. So a little bit of a variety, which was kind of fun to um, spread some of the wealth. But inside of each one, there's going to be a um, logbook inside, um, a writing implement, some random swag and such. And most of them, there's room if you wanted to add in more of your own swag um, to um, add in more stuff. And oh, Darlene has more stuff to say as well. Cool. Oh, your stuff is great. Use it on a burn and your husband has um, on his burn when loading the wood stove. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I think it works really well. I was actually sharing it with my physical therapist um, after they were, you know, they were the ones that with the adhesive on me, but you know, who knew that I would be sensitive to the adhesive? I'd never had it on before. And uh, he was looking this up and he's like, oh my gosh, you could eat this stuff. <laughs> it's, it's nothing toxic. So I'm glad that it's, it's helped you on a burn and for your husband as well. We love this stuff. And you know, I have more um, of them. So I might, um, put them for sale on our website. It's something we, you know, we have the rights to resell them because we're partners with Green Goo. Love this company. Good stuff. So let's see. Geocache container armed with this geocaching container. Um, he, Captain Cash hid treasures for others to discover, spreading the joy of geocaching and forging connections across the geocaching community. Yeah, you know, hiding caches, putting out trackables. It is like forging connections with other geocachers that come visit those caches and, and move those trackables for sure. Yeah, we're all big part of, part of this big, wonderful community. And then the very last item that went into all of the crates was a rare geocoin. And they were in these um, special bags. I had a geocacher um, uh, that's been geocaching since I've been geocaching, which is 22 years now. Um, he's retired from caching due to health reasons. And he came by to visit me and wanted to share some really rare geocoins that he has collected from way back when. I mean, a lot of these are 20 years old. Um, brand new, not activated, um, all in their original well, not all of them. Um, some of them were in their um, original containers, not not all of them. Um, they were um, protective, but they were all protected and uh, in great shape. So this was one of them. It was a scouting one. Um, whoops, the code there, scouting one. Let me put this side. Um, so they're all different. Um, you know, we ha didn't have, you know, hundreds of, of each one. Um, so, but he had a really nice selection and um, I was able to get them from him, um, compensate him, and um, then share them, which is exactly what he wanted. He wanted these to go out to other geocachers to enjoy because uh, he wasn't caching anymore and they were just, you know, sitting around and he wanted them to be shared with active um, cachers out there. So huge thanks to our um, benefactor that came by and, and brought these um, to us so we could um, get them out to other geocachers. And oh, Lori has a comment. It looks like about uh, our salve thing. You feel your pain with the adhesive and body not liking it. Oh, yeah. Two weeks. I couldn't even last 14 hours. It was the afternoon the next morning. I'm like, I got to get the stuff off of me. And I'm so glad I did because it 
<laughs> it wasn't pretty. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> oh, Lori. Yeah, isn't that great? Yes, we wanted to get this back out into the wild, all of these rare coins. Yeah, I didn't need to put them up here, um, add them to my collection. I've got a lot of coins. This is this is a very small sampling, <laughs> trust me, because <laughs> we make coins and we get samples of all the coins that we make. Um, none of the, these were ones that we made because um, we didn't start making coins until 2014. And these are all much older than 2014. Most of these are from the aughts. Uh, actually, I think all of them were all but maybe two were from the aughts. So yeah, we wanted to, he wanted to get them back out in geocacher's hands and we wanted to share them with our heroes. So that was the rare different coin. So this one, this box was a little bit different for all of our heroes. Again, they got a different um, cash container. The majority got ones similar to this, this one, um, or um, something a little bit different, but all good size ones. Uh, a different rare coin very old um, one, unactivated. They can do with it what they would like because they're our heroes when we love them. Yeah, and then of course the green goo um, south that went, was wonderful stuff. I'm hearing lots of people say how much they like it. So we might have to get, because we do have a few extras. We might get them on our website for you guys. These are awesome. And then a bag full of other coins. So we've got the Leap Day collection. We get all the Leap Days here. The three different Leap Days. So that's three. Um, the two Cito's. That makes five. So the Cito coin and the Cito tag for season one. And then the Equinox. That makes six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trackables went out in um, our hero box and just two tags. The rest are all full-size coins. Whew, that's a lot. And then uh, most of those came in um, a fun little bag. That, different colors, so we got a different color. Um, I just grabbed the white one um, to show all you guys what went in there. And uh, let's see here. Oh, along the words of Cito, we've got the Cito vest. Um, that came in its own little pouch. I love these little pouches. You can use these pouches how you'd like. They're not as sturdy as like our Dr. Beast kits. Um, those are much heavier, sturdier material, but these are just fine for holding, you know, something like a um, Cito um, reflective vest. These are awesome. And of course, the rechargeable light, uh, USB rechargeable light. Um, light your way. Um, they're great on your bicycle, but you can also... You know, just have them handy. Oh, uh, did I have one out? Oops. So yeah, they're they're just little guys, so they're really handy. You can just you know hold them if you wanted to, and uh, gotta go through the cycle. There we go, red, green, <laughs> and off. Um, or um, put them on your um, on your handlebar, and then they just flip up. They've got a little notch right here, so this would flip up over that little notch. And this would go around your handlebar. So they're going to hold real tight, not going to go anywhere. So tunnel of light, anybody? Um, Ape Cash, have a good light with you when you go. And don't do it right now. There's too much snow. Wait till spring. <laughs> and uh, so that's these guys here. Again, they're made by Bison. Yeah, Bison makes all kinds of cool stuff. And what am I forgetting? Oh, um, oh the um, snack pack. So oh, this is my opened up one. Everybody, I didn't snack on everybody's. I said brand new ones to everybody. <laughs> you got the sealed up ones. You've got the big um, honey stinger um, mini mini waffles. You've got the bigger waffles. So these are, you know, they're full sized. Really pretty yummy. For sure. You've got the cookies and cream and then the chocolate flavor. I really like the chocolate flavor, but I, I love chocolate. <laughs> and energy chews as well. These are fun little chews. Um, great for um, keeping your energy. All of these are good for keeping your energy up while you're out caching. Do not leave them in geocaches. You guys know that. No food in geocaches. They stay in your bag or in your tummy, right? And then you pack it in and you pack it out. <laughs> and what am I forgetting? Oh, the t-shirt. The long-sleeved be kind to our earth and Cito. So these are um, a poly cotton blend, about like 50, 50, 48, 52, 
cotton poly and it is officially the heather yellow gold color and you can see it's not neon gold it's a it's a nice bright yellow you know warm honey color um but it's not the, the neon color <laughs> like it comes in the um these vests these Cito vests i think i got everything yeah so that was what was in our hero crate um that went out in um just well recently uh i'm just the, the end of March um, to all of our heroes. Again, they go out every solstice and every equinox. And if you wanted to sign up for one, um, you can sign up for one now and you're not, the next one will be coming in June. So June will be the next one um, when we hit our solstice, um, which is the start of summer. Um, and we love that time of year because we get a lot of daylight up here in the Northwest during that time. The sun comes up early and it stays out late and we get twilight for a long time. It's not quite Alaska twilight, um, but uh, sure is nice. And we put a link up where you guys can see all the goodies about that. Oh, there it is. Cashcrate.com. So yeah, our hero crate. Um, let me get the box here. It's the Hero Crate. So it's part of our Cash Crate family. We've got lots of different um, crates that we have. We've got five different monthlies. Crazy. We have the T-shirt club. You can get just the T-shirt. You want to get the T-shirt. We have the regular Cash Crate box. We have the combo crate where you can get both of these together. Um, we And you can also get the add-on trackable in these, an additional bonus trackable. Um, and then we also have that separately by itself, which is the Cash Track Club. That's just $12 a month. And then we have the Cashkins Club, which is just a small Cashkins every month. And that's just $7 a month. And then we've got the quarterly Hero Crate. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the unboxing of our Hero Crate. I don't have a sneak peek for you yet because we're still just starting the process of curating for our summer crate, hero crate. That'll be coming out in June, um, but it's it's going to be good. It's always fun stuff that you're going to want to have to be the hero of, of your geocaching community all summer long um, would be in your summertime hero crate. And it's probably going to be a, even a bigger box than this one. They're always a different size box because it's such a variety of, of big stuff that's not going to fit in our in our smaller boxes. Oops, got that upside down. There you are. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, for coming along with me um, while I did the big reveal for our spring 2024 hero crates. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, let me know if you have any questions, uh, especially if you're even just watching this on a replay. Just um, type in any of your questions and um, I'm happy to answer them as well. You can always go over to cashcrate.com, take a look there and um, you'll see all the different options that we do have for subscriptions. Um, currently open, we're going to be closing um, the subscriptions because we're just about full. So if you do want to get in, the cash crates will be going out in the middle of April, after, right after tax day. Uh, we'll be getting those out. Um, cash skins are going out, I believe, tomorrow or well, tomorrow, the next day. They go out the first week of every month, our cash skins club. And then um, the hero crates, the t-shirt club, the combo crates, and the cash track club, they all go out towards the end of the month between the 15th and the last day of every month. So you have until the 15th um, to subscribe to any of those um, if you want to get this month's all different ones that we have going out. We're excited to be um, getting our April ones out very soon. So again, just hop on over to cashcrate.com. That's where you would go and uh, sign up and learn more. And um, also... Feel free always to visit our website too, which is at cash-advance.com. We've got lots of other fun stuff for sale, onesies and twosies and um, some items we've put together. We've got some packages and such as well too for you for this spring. So happy CETO, everybody. I'm glad you guys are out there doing um, events like Dustin. He just hosted a CETO um, this last weekend. We've got Jono. Uh, from, he was just at the Capitol Bash in Australia. So good day to you. You're staying up late. Awesome. Good to see you. <laughs> Always fun to have our friends from across 
Wolf Ponds joining us. Um, I try to get these at a decent time where folks can join in from all around the world. But you can always catch us on replay too. And uh, I think that, oh, and of course, Lori is always hosting fun events over on the West Side too. Oh, and somebody's asking, what's the website for the onesies and twosies? Yeah. So if you don't want to subscribe, of course, you can cancel anytime if you do subscribe to our different um, subscriptions, all of those you can cancel whenever. But if you want to just, you know, just get one thing, um, that's all you need. You definitely want to go over to, let me put that up here, cash-advance.com. That's our main e-commerce website um, where we've got a blog um, which I haven't blogged in a while. I guess it's time for me to get writing again, isn't it? Um, we've got all of our different geocaching gear, trackables, and then there's links to everything else. So you'll see links to our subscriptions and all of the other things that we do, like make coins, we, like all these coins that we have made <laughs> over the years that we've been doing coins as well. So yeah, hop on over to cash-advance.com. Um, and uh, we've been doing this since 2005. Can you believe next year will be our 20th anniversary? My 20th anniversary of running um, Cash Advance um, since I founded it in 2005. Um, we've been providing gear um, for different geocachers all around the world. And we do ship all around the world. Um, and our subscriptions go all around the world as well, too. So we're happy to uh, hear from you. Want to know what, what folks need, what you want? Um, I've been doing this for a while, so I've got a pretty good idea, but everybody has, you know, plays the game in different ways. So I always want to know um, what's working for y'all and how we can help support other geocachers as well out and about with um, all of our fun geocaching gear. So again, yeah, so cash-advance.com is our main website. And then cashcrate.com is where all of our subscriptions are. And uh, you can get links to either one of those on, on either one. So let's see here. Did I catch all the comments? Um, oh, Dustin, you said you have an extra piece of back part huh, of the DIY birdhouse and not a side piece. Well, that's strange. Are you sure you put it together right? I thought I had the same problem and I actually put it together backwards. So fiddle with it. <laughs> I, I can attest to that. <laughs> yeah. I had the same problem with one that I put together. Um, I, I thought I, I was I had an extra, one extra piece and was missing a piece, but I wasn't. So rework it, put it together. And um, if you are still don't have a, a complete one, send me an email um, to hello at cash-advance.com and uh, we can get you that missing piece. I know I think it happened to um, somebody else as well. And oh my gosh, Sandra. Yeah. Oh, you came across this while you were scrolling through and stopped to watch. Well, thank you for watching, Sandra. Love that. Um, yeah, that I would thank you for popping in on my live that I've got going on here. So you're looking forward to a new hero crate subscription. Oh, you're signing up. Awesome. Thank you so much for being a hero. We love it. Um, yeah, it's our 20th year anniversary. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, yes, we are definitely going to be celebrating our 20th year um, all year. <laughs> Technically, it's the fall time, so it'd be a year from this fall, but, you know, we can celebrate the whole year. Geocaching does, so we will as well, too. I think we are the oldest company um, in the United States to be around, besides um, our partners at Geocaching HQ, um, to be around this long. So thank you, Sandra, for popping in and becoming a hero. So, um, yeah, love to see it. And uh, Jesse says, um, hello, long time no see. Hey, Jesse. So good to see you too. Oh, thanks for popping in as well. That's great. And you do have two back walls. Huh. Okay. Well, I know we had one other one that was assembled incorrectly when from the company that, that we partnered with for these. So um, yeah, send, send an email because I'm likely not to remember, <laughs> although we have it here on tape. Um, and uh, then my team will get that connected and we'll send out um, a whole new one for you. So we'll get that, we'll get that squared away for you. 
And oh, Cindy, oh my gosh, you're wearing your new Cito shirt this weekend to Dustin Cito. I love it. Well, Cindy, meet Dustin. Dustin, meet Cindy. Maybe you guys have already met if you're already in the same community. So cool. So you guys wear your shirts. Um, have a fantastic Cito. Um, I gotta look for see when our next one is in our area here. Um, it's been a little while since I've been to a Cito like season, I guess, and it's definitely time to get out there. So Cindy, that's awesome. So you and Dustin have fun and oh yes you are okay good <laughs> love it <laughs> I love being able to connect with you guys live this is so much fun I wish I could be there for your Cetos but uh, next time for sure and um, we are planning to be at Geo Woodstock so um, we'll have a booth um, we look forward to seeing everybody there and meeting folks um, hopefully yeah, Jesse it's been a long time um, Sandra be fun to connect with you in person. I guess it'd be even before your hero crate comes um, since that'll be going out in June and the um, uh, Jill Woodstock is Memorial weekend. So it's a little earlier in um, May. So yeah, come find us there. All right guys. Well, I think it's dinner time for me here and um, it's time for me to start printing up more of my coins. I'm excited to, um, to get this full and show some more of the coins that we did and oh, here, real quick. Oops. I should point this way. This is all the different Leap Day um, coins that we did for um, folks. You could buy into these um, and um, have your own, design your own colors um, for the front and the back side. And um, they all had the same um, mold, but um, everybody had different colors. So it's really fun to see how creative everybody was in all of their different colors. So we'll be doing another one of those soon too, I think. And there's only one, let's see which one, I think I put it in the corner here. Yeah, there was one that, HQ, you get this one from HQ if they have any left. We gave them the opportunity to actually have four um, colors on each side. So it's the rainbow, um, Roy G. Biv on the front, or Roy G. <laughs> and then Biv on the back. So they got... Uh, bonus um of the different ones so it's hq so we love partnering with them um for those here we are i'll be getting more of those up so join me next time um i'll be on again i'll let you all know when i'll be coming on live it seemed like tuesday afternoon was a good time we had uh some fun some engagement and i uh, got to chat with some of you guys here um in my life. So cool. Take care, everybody. Happy Cito season and um, sign up now. You have until the 15th. Um, if you wanted to join any of our subscriptions going out this month um, and then um, you've got longer for the Hero Crate as well, but we are going to be closing down memberships because we're just about full. Um, and then I'll just be concentrating on curating for everybody, um, such as for Sandra, who's one of our new heroes. And um, we'll be getting some fun stuff out for you guys. All right, y'all take care. Happy caching. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Ah, I just saw that pop in. <laughs> you bet. Very, I will have a very nice evening. It's still so nice. I think I'm going to have a chance to get out and get some fresh air and walk around. And I uh, love sharing with you guys. It's good to see you too. All right. Take care, everybody. Good night. <laughs>